A Song of Frutas. When we visit Abuelo, I help him sell frutas. We sing the names of each fruit as we walk, our footsteps like drum beats, our hands like maracas, shaking bright food shapes while we chant with a rhythm. Mango, limon, coco, melon, naranja, toronja, platano, piña. Our voices are bridges that reach up to windows, inviting strangers to look out and become friends. Smiling people perch on balconies, listening to our cheerful music. A few send baskets down on ropes to buy fruit by placing money inside and then waiting until Abuelo sends the basket back up filled with mangoes, limon, limes, coconut, melons, oranges, grapefruits, bananas, and pineapples. Sometimes people walk along the street beside us arguing about prices. Others sing their own songs, trying to sell instead of buy. Whenever many lively sellers are all chanting at the same time, Abuelo el Frutero has to sing even louder, his song as powerful as an opera star's glorious voice. It's the only way to be heard over the melodies and rhythms of El Tamalero, who sells tamales wrapped in slick green banana leaves, and La Yerbera with her fragrant herbs. The meat seller with sweet potatoes and yams, and the dancing vendor who offers cucuruchos, pointy paper cones filled with roasted peanuts that smell like the salty blue sea. Best of all is La Dulcera, a woman with the voice of an angel who croons so sweetly in praise of the caramels, chocolates, and other delicious candies. Tasty. My favorite visits to Abuelo are on the eve of the new year, when everyone wants to buy 12 grapes per person. Grapes are the fruit of each New Year's good luck. At midnight, I gobble 12 grapes while I make one wish per month for the whole coming year. My last wish is always friendship between countries so that we can visit my abuelo more often and maybe somehow, someday, he can also fly high and wide across the glittering deep sea to visit us. Each song I hear on New Year's Eve reminds me that soon I'll return to my own home. Each time I go to the post office to mail a letter, I feel like I've crossed a bridge between mi abuelo's country and mine. It would make me so sad to live far apart from Abuelo if I didn't know that we can sing rhymes back and forth, verses on paper, all our hopeful poems flying like songbirds who glide and soar through wild sky, each syllable a hug. A hug made of words.